Uh, hello there, Data. Nice to see you. What you actually look like. Interesting to hear from you again. Got your video. Uh, see, there you are on my computer screen. And here is a list of the points that you made. I don't have a lot of time to uh, get into preliminaries, so I'll just get right into your points. Uh, you know, you talked about me banning you. I wrote to you in an email through the YouTube email system about that. Uh, the second thing you talked about was me making fun of you for dyslexia. I addressed that in the email I sent to you. But I'd just like to add, you know, don't be so worried about what people might say about you, man. I mean, if you go through life waiting for something, somebody to say something bad about you to get up in the arms over, you're going to live a miserable life, man. Um, you know, enjoy life a little bit. You know, so you have something wrong with you. Welcome to the club. See this lower lip that protrudes out on me? I get made fun of all the time over that. My sisters, my friends, people I know, it's a well-known fact in my family and in my circle of friends. I get made fun of it all the time. You know what? Big deal. I have a big lower lip. You know, enjoy life. You know, um, it's not the worst thing in the world, you know. I have friends that have things wrong with them. We all do. And you know what? The curveballs that life throws at you sometimes wind up putting you in funny situations. That's the fact of life, you know. So don't be so uptight about it, you know. Hey, you are who you are. You know, and the rest of the the uh, making fun I, I address in the in the email. The first major point you make is that I want to cut all these programs, but yet I think I'm entitled to the eleven thousand dollars, which uh, nothing could be further from the truth. What I want is my own money. I think it's funny and interesting, however, how you uh, enumerate uh, the portion of my own money that the government should allow me to have back. I think that's an interesting way of looking at, you know, uh, who's entitled uh, to money. I think that's very interesting that you think the government uh, should allow us to have certain portions of our own money back. Um, you know, you mentioned the $500 that from the federal and the $1,500 from the state. What about my local property taxes that I pay? You know, I paid about $2,500, $2,800 in property taxes, uh, a large portion of which went to support the public school here in my area. Um, should I get that back? Uh, you misinterpret uh, my comments, and the point I'm trying to make is I just want my own money back. I just want my own money. I don't care anything about the $11,000 that the government spends. Okay? Now, if the government is going to tax us through different methods, and you forget all the different methods of taxation, you know, uh, you pay for education when you buy an airline ticket. You know, taxation is everywhere. Um, but if the government is going to take up that money and divide it back up and pay for children's education that way, I think I should be able to take the the amount that's apportioned for my son's education and take it where I choose. We do the same thing for higher education. The government gives out the money, but they let you take it where you want to. Why not in lower education? But, you know, I, so far I'm just talking about keeping my own money. Now, if you want to eliminate this $11,000 that the government uh, spends per child and eliminate government funding as well as government uh, providing education, we're talking about a whole different thing altogether. Uh, something that you jumped all over me on uh, when I mentioned in, in, in another video that... Uh, Government should not even fund education. There should be no public schools. So if you don't think I'm entitled to $11,000, let's get the government out of providing for education altogether, a further step than what I want, okay? And um, I don't think you'd be any too pleased with that either. In return, my kid would not be allowed in public school ever for any reason whatsoever. 
Thank you. Please. Yes, I would love it. Um, you mentioned the test that I, the, to determine what school is better, and I'm glad you don't care, uh, you know, what school is better. But the point you make about the test, I believe, is wrong. Uh, the test that I quote and the statistics that I quote are uh, comparing apples to apples when kids have been given the same test. Uh, the system you talk about where they're given tests uh, is not what's going on in the statistics I quote. And of course, uh, some statistics show public schools to be better and some to show private schools to be better. Uh, but in the statistics that I quote, the tests being given are apples to apples. You say that I somehow think you're against me because you simply play devil's advocate. Well, devil's advocate is not what's been going on in my comments section uh, the last little while. You have these screaming, ranting uh, arguments um, with exclamation points all over the place, uh, railing against the points that I'm trying to make. This is not a devil's advocate type of situation that you've been involved in here, Dada, and I think you know that. You accuse me of not thinking far enough, you know, and I think that's interesting. When the only thing that you think about, and the only thing that you can point to, and I'm checking my time here, um, is people in need. That's the only thing you can do is point to people in need, and I go beyond that. I say you cannot provide for a person in need, at least through the means of government, without robbing from somebody else. I look beyond the person in need. You're accusing me of not thinking far enough, my thought process not going far enough. Well, all you can think about, and the only thing you've mentioned, okay, I'm taking you at your own word, the only thing you've mentioned is the person in need. You've never once mentioned how best to give that person what they need. So I go beyond that. They can only rob from another person. I think that presents a problem. But yet, you say, well, there are good things that the government gives. And I say, well, I will go beyond that. Yes, maybe government could give some good things. But even for the good things, you waste money by passing your money through the government, paying bureaucrats that don't spend it as frugally as you would spend your own money, and then turning around and giving it to the person that has, is actually in need. So I say, People in need, wait, you're robbing. I go beyond. Then you say, well, the government actually does some good things. I go beyond. Yes, but they waste money in the process, okay? The only thing that you talk about here and that you've ever talked about in my comments section is people that are in need, people that may not be provided for, okay? And you think I should worry about spending money for other people. You know what? It's not my job to provide spending money for other people. I have a hard enough time providing spending money for myself. So no, I am not particularly worried about all the other people in the world. If you are very, very, uh, in the sense of providing spending money from them, uh, for them, I want to be clear about that. I, I am worried about people. But if you want to worry about people having uh, money to spend everywhere, you go away and give away all your money. Don't require me to because I have enough problems fulfilling all my own obligations. The thing I don't want to do is I do not want to set up a system where people get something for nothing. It's not ethical and it does not work in a practical sense. Uh, all my time is just about up, so I will leave it right there for now. But I've reinstated you, I've unblocked you. Feel free to make rational comments uh, and respond to what I've said here and exchange videos and anything else you want to do. But if you come on again um, emotional, irrational, and claim to be only messing with me to get me riled up, uh, you'll probably see the same result as before. But it was good to hear from you, good to, to talk to you, and I look forward to it in the future.